on Alaska Light. Um, what makes me queer? Uh, I feel like there's so many aspects to, I mean, me being queer. Um, fuck. <laughs> something I, I think about too often. I'm like, why am I queer? Hmm, like, what makes me this? What makes me queer is basically just how I live. I mean, everything I do is imbued with queerness and just this different way of viewing the world and experiencing sex and love and everything. Um, I feel like, um, you know, it's not necessarily just being like, oh yeah, I'm queer because I have sex with these people. I feel like being queer is so much more than that. Being queer is, uh, you know, it's part of who I am and, uh, you know, it's like I can wake up in the morning and be like, you know what, I woke up today and I was super queer. And, uh, you know, I, you know, went on a walk and it was super queer because, you know, I'm queer all the time. It's not just when I'm fucking someone or when I'm, you know, on a date with someone or something like that. Um, and it's really just like, it's so much of like my life led that, I mean, it's inseparable from me. I mean. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Why I'm getting into queer porn is uh, like partly to give other people something that, you know, I didn't necessarily have. Uh, you know, growing up as trans, uh, there's not a lot of trans representation in the media or anything like that um, and naturally like the only place where there is like a good representation well not necessarily good but a representation of trans women is within the porn industry and I mean it wasn't until very late in my transition that I realized that you know there was something outside of the kind of like mainstream norms uh, of trans women that are presented and that's how I found queer porn, and I fell in love with it, and, um, you know, I just kind of wanted to bring something to the table that might not necessarily be there, and, you know, hopefully, like, I can show people through my identities, being a butch trans woman, uh, that I can, you know, show people that, like, this is a valid identity. There are other people out there who can, like, fuck and who can do all this awesome shit, and, uh, that it's okay to be this way and I mean that wasn't something necessarily that I had and I feel like you know that could definitely be something I could bring forward. My favorite thing about being a stone top is I guess my experience of sex is just like so very different from a lot of people's. Um, you know a lot of people are in sex like have sex uh, just to have an orgasm and something like that and that's not something I basically ever have during like intercourse uh, you know for me it's all about like getting off from getting someone off and it's this like incredible kind of sensation and it's like this weird almost body high that you get from it and like it's really kind of hard to put into words and it's just like I don't know uh, it, it's crazy uh, and I love it I mean I wouldn't like, fuck any other way, really. <laughs> uh, queer porn would be different if uh, all the producers were on the East Coast. Uh, basically, everybody would probably be very pissed off, for one thing. <laughs> I guess that's just an East Coast thing. Um, and also, I'd probably be in a lot of scenes, because... <laughs> God damn, it's hard to get over to uh, San Francisco, but... <laughs> I would be pissed off. <laughs> it's true. I mean, holy shit. I, whenever I go anywhere that's not on the East Coast, it's like, wow, everyone's so, like, nice here. <laughs> Maybe it's just New York. <laughs> um, so a passion that I have that you might not know about is uh, I'm super into painting. Uh, that's, like, one of my, like, 
oh god, it's just, I love it, and I paint all the time, and I paint people and their faces predominantly, uh, especially like queer people and queer women, and like, I don't know. I, I, I remember when I was, you know, a little kid, just like the first time I picked up a paintbrush and, you know, put it to a canvas, that was, that was something, you know? It's like electricity just kind of like flowed through my veins and, I mean, it's not something I've ever really given up. Uh, I love painting, I mean, you know. <laughs> You can tell from your face. <laughs> You're like, ah. Um, <laughs> my sexual fantasy is just that I have never had a threesome. And that is the most, like, that is my, like, ah. It sucks. <laughs> it's like, how have I never had a threesome? And meanwhile, I'm, like, shooting porn and doing all this crazy stuff. And that's, like, pretty vanilla. Uh, but like... Well, it depends on what you're doing in the threesome. I know, but like, I haven't had any... <laughs> There's like... a lot of kinky things that three people can do that... I am aware! <laughs> <laughs> I am very aware. It's just like, wow, I've never had the opportunity. Um, what do you say you've done all this kinky stuff? What do you... What's your, like, specialty? Your what's my specialty? specialty? Uh, like, I'm... S I'm just, like, super into being, like, a dom, and, like, I do... I've done like bondage, like rope bondage, and I've done suspension a couple times, and like I just super into stuff like that. And so, but you know, never had sex with more than two people <laughs> at a time, obviously. <laughs> well, the next scene. Yes, the next scene. <laughs>